Okay, this is the 94th time that I've attempted to make this video. Uh, this is an ATAS Mat 30 Tar Heel 102-inch whip uh, antenna video on the FT891. <clears throat> so, I had a ATAS 120 on here, and I was not at all uh, happy with the reception. I mean, I could talk with 100 watts a lot further than I could hear. Um, I could use that, um, what is that thing? The SDR, the Utah SDR, and hear myself talk, as in talking to the um, uh, nets, the beehive net and the uh, high noon net from New Mexico. From, I could talk to them from my house in New Mexico and hear myself on the Utah SDR, but I could not hear them on the on my radio. So it just talks a lot further than it hears. <clears throat> when I checked in using the SDR, they could hear me just fine, but I could not hear them on the radio. So. What I did was I swapped out the um, uh, ATAS for my tar heel, which was broken. <clears throat> it would not, it was stuck at the bottom. I just need to send it in for repair. <clears throat> but I manually tuned it to um, 3825, is where I tuned it to. It just seemed like a good frequency. And I have down here an antenna switch. You can see it right there. Antenna switch. Which is currently on the 102 inch whip. So, um, uh, the 102 inch whip was my goal in getting it to work. So with the Mat 30, I could not receive um, or, or I could not get a good SWR on 20 or 80. I want to use 80 when I'm mobile, so I hooked up that uh, Tar Heel antenna, and I also run it through the, um, the this thing, or that Mat 30, and it works great. <coughs> I mean, I have good SWR, let me turn it on to that antenna. You can hear the difference. The hum you hear is my house, which is about 100 yards behind me. It's a solar powered house. Now, before I get too far into that, something that most videos don't tell you is when you're tuning the Mat 30. Okay, right now, <coughs> with the, the tuner off, we're in bypass mode. You turn it on and it switches to the mat 30. To tune the mat 30, you long press and you wait and it's tuned. So <clears throat> let's see where we're at. KJ7AZ, KJ7AZ, you can see the SDR is very low and the reception is quite good. Now, theoretically, I could go down to um, 39.85 and have good SWR without the tuner. But people, they don't tell you how to tune it. I only found one video that tells you how to tune it. Now, one of the things, when, when you tune this, you tune a full 10 kilohertz section. So 39.39, I'm tuned, I just tuned it to 3930 to 3939. When I press that button, it tunes in 10 kilohertz steps. I unlock it. When you get this new out of the box, it's not gonna work. So right now, 3941, I press that again, and it tunes for the 3940 section. Now tune it up to 39.50, press tuner again, and it tunes for that section. And you have to do that. 
uh, once you find the frequency you're looking for, it doesn't hurt at all to tune it again. So if I was wanting to talk on 39.23.5, there is some good stuff on 39.23.5, and tune. Now it's tuned for that frequency. Kilo, Juliet, 7 Alpha, Zulu. Now that's how the tuner works. But what I'm getting at is this tuner does not work with a 108-inch, 102-inch whip on 80 meters. It also does not work well on, uh, on 20 meters. I've read a lot of people have problems on 20 meters. And I'll put it back on that antenna. You can hear it dropped out. But I could right now tune it that it's not going to work. That's just, no, nah, that's not. I don't, I don't, yeah, I can. So let's tune it. We're on the 102 inch whip. You can see how high SWR. KJ7AZ or SWR is ridiculous. So I'll put it back on over here and tune it again. Long press KJ7AZ and the SWR is back to where it's supposed to be. So let's go to 40 meter if I can. HA7AZ and we are currently on the tar heel so if I tune it KJ7AZ but I noticed it doesn't receive good on that frequency it's just the mismatch in, in the antenna it's not long enough or something there's something not right so if I wanted to tune the 40 meter band, I would have to go section by section to the 50s, to the 60s, and tune every one of those sections. I'm going to put it back on the 102 and tune it again. So we're on the 102 inch whip now, KJ7AZ, and that's through the 30. Uh, and mat 30. Turn that off, bypass mode, KJ7AZ. You can see it's really high SWR. So let's turn that back on. But that's what I wanted to show you. Now, the ATAS would tune everything except 80 pretty well. It would tune them just fine. I had no problems with tuning at all, but I had to, uh, this truck is grounded to death. Um, I'll walk out there, I'll walk around with you in a minute, but um, I had no problem tuning it for SWR, but the receive was dismal. It just simply wouldn't receive, and not a whole lot you can do about the whip length. Um, so that was with the ATAS 120. So I'll probably give that one to my wife. Now, there's one more thing that I can do and I ordered it already, was the um, Wolf, uh, Wolf, what is it, Wolf River coil, and I ordered the SB1000, $75, it'll be here Tuesday, I'll do another video, and I'm going to use that as a base load for the 120, the 100, 100. <laughs> I have a speech impediment, I'm sorry, but uh, I am going to, um, use that as a base load for the 102 inch whip and I'll set it on 160 and experiment or I'm sorry uh, 80 meter and I'll experiment with the um, tuning on that I think it's going to work I've read a lot of good reports about that so that's my plan there but I'm, I'm, the, the tar heel was actually just an experiment to see if it would work so I'll use, I will tune the um, 
the Wolf River coil to whatever frequency it is that I'm looking for, and then I'll tune it again so I can get the whole band, really, with the uh, MAT-30. I don't even need the MAT-30 with that coil. But, <coughs> I may not want to tune it. If I'm driving down the highway and don't want to stop, I can always retune with the MAT-30. But that's what I'm doing. Uh, the main thing I wanted to show you is that the MAT-30 does not work well with a 102 inch whip on 20 meters, KJ7AZ. But it does work on all the other bands. Let's go to 21. KJ7AZ, 1.5. And I've talked on all these in the last few days, even with the, um, Even with the um, auroras, I've been able to talk. Only one, oh wow, I lost my microphone. The only one I haven't talked on is the 10 meter and 50. Kilo, Juliet 7, Alpha Zulu. So we're good on all the bands except 40 and 80 just through the tuner into the 102. Now, uh, what else? There's one more thing that I can do, and I may do it, and that would be um, use a two of the Wolf River coils together to get 160. And I think that's going to be exciting. It might raise my antenna up a little bit high. I'll have to be careful under low flying bridges and low flying airplanes, but. Uh, yeah, I think it will work, and uh, we'll, we'll report on that also when I do it. Uh, what else? I'm sure there's something that I forget. Like I say, that this is the 94th time I've attempted this video. Let's walk around once. These are the grounds that I had to the... Um, not, I'm, I'm sorry, to the ATAS. This truck is grounded to death. I've got ground wires everywhere. Every body panel is grounded at least twice. This has got the extended whip on it. I may take that off and put on the, the medium whip. But there's my uh, tar heel, and that one is tuned to uh, 3980. 39825. That is my VHF UHF. Does a lot of things. And this is my six meter. Yes, this truck is meant to go places and it does. And this is my 102. This has been on there for years and years and years and had no problem with it. Uh let's see. I know there's more. What am I forgetting? The way this truck is set up is I've got the heads to my uh, FT-8191 and my 300 Yesu mounted to a piece of uh, cutting board. Cutting board is a beautiful tool. I mean, you can cut that and make things with it. And I made this uh, mount. It's got my Cirrus XM and my GPS. Down here's the speakers, a couple of MFJs. And on the floor, down under the seat, I've got the MAT-30 tuner. You can't see them under there. But I've got the MAT-30 tuner and the, the power units for these. Fits great. They're mounted to cutting board down there, pretty well protected, and uh, it, it's it's a good environment. I know it looks dusty, but under the seats it's clean. I've got dogs that drag in a lot of stuff, and it is a, a really dusty area here. So I'm going to attempt to get this one uh, published. It's actually in response to somebody that was on there that was asking questions. He says, post pictures on the Facebook uh, uh, FT891 page. So, good luck with your MAT-30. It's a good, it's a good tuner. 
And I think a lot of people are sending it, sending it back because they don't know how to tune it. And sometimes it takes more than one try. When I was first tuning it, when I first took it out of the box, it took a while to get it to tune um, the uh, 40 meter band. It kept coming up with high SFR, then all of a sudden it came out of it and started working. So, uh, there you go. That's what I got. This truck has got a handful of miles on it. It's going to get another handful. I take pretty good care of it, really. So, that's all I have. We're building a deck on the house. I might do a video on that later also. But this is Off Grid Ham Radio by KJ7AZ. Y'all have fun out there.